Milner turned up with a chap called Ratcliffe. And a couple of days, well, a week or so later, I was taken off to be one of Mr. Milner's kids at Aston Hall Mental Hospital. So I went from the fire into the frying pan. Yeah, and that's, again, you're thinking, am I free? Am I going to get help? Yeah. Not realising yeah. those pla- this place, Aston House, was drugging you, using the experiment. As- Aston Hall yeah, was, Aston was Hall. run by a chap called Milner, Kenneth Milner, who at the time, I mean, I didn't know this at the time, I've only found this out many years later, he was used to do a thing called narcoanalysis on you. And you were taken upstairs into a little side room. You were fastened, tied up naked on the on a mattress on the floor. He'd come in, get an injection in the arm, wait a few minutes, then put a mask over your face. And it had like gauze in it. And he'd drip ether onto your face. And basically, it was like you were one on a really good acid trip. You know, it was you were proper stoned. And he'd talk to you, ask you questions, but you didn't know whether you were coming or going. You know, you were you were absolutely shit faced, stoned out of your mind. This is this is what Sergio Mama told us to you. I didn't know that then. And then sometimes I'd wake up, and I'd be I'd have my knees tied together and my wrists tied together. And I'd be covered in marks all over my legs and my backside, where he'd obviously been belting me, because with my dad, I was an expert on the marks that belts leave, and I could, you know, white line down the middle, red either side, blah, blah, you know, all that shit. So whatever he was doing involved him hitting me while I was unconscious in this stone state. And I was there for a year and four months. And they were drugging the kids there? Yeah, uh, all of us, yeah, yeah. You using were, them. Some kids even went missing? Yeah, yeah, yeah lo- loads of kids went missing. There yeah. Were loads of kids. There were tales that, obviously, these places, kids tell each other tales when, when you're new there especially. Mm. And one of the tales was that Milner had made, because the River Trent flowed through the grounds, and Milner had told these kids, under the influence of his drugs, to go and walk into the river and drown themselves, and they had. And it, I mean, at the time, it was a scary tale, but he didn't know whether it was true or not. And it's only since all this stuff about Milner came to light, and I've seen the records and everything, mm-hmm. that I found out that it was perfectly bloody true. Yeah. So this Milner ran Aston Hall for yeah. 30 years. Yeah. Uh, so many people came forward as well and told yeah. their story, but yeah. he would use it as the psychotic are yeah. not right in the head yeah. and we'd get away with it. That's it, yeah. But yeah. he's also had connections with Jimmy Savile yeah. and Aston Hall. Uh, that's the, well, this, I, I, I don't know how true all that is, but I've been told that Jimmy Savile was one of the people that had dealings with the place. There were loads of other folk used to turn up. You didn't know who they were. You know, it was much like St. Williams later on. Folks turned up in suits, wandered around and, and boggered off. But in the meantime, Milner got away with doing whatever he wanted to do with whoever he wanted to do it to. Yeah, kids as young as 12. 12, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there were little kids there. You speak about being friends with a spider. That's a misella, yeah. Was that, how did, did that get you through, do you think, to still being here just now? Yeah, yeah. The spider? Yeah, because I, all I got in the cellar was me and my imagination. Mm-hmm. And it's the fact that I, I paint a lot now and, and, and all the rest of it. But I've always been at this artistic thing. Creative. And one of the shrinks that I saw a few years back said that it was because I got this really creative mind that I managed to invent a world for me to go into. And the saving grace for everything that happened to me was the fact I've got this, according to the shrinks, I've got a thing called disassociative disorder, which means that no matter what happens to me, I can turn it off, you know. I, I, once this thing kicks in, I can shut down any sense of responsibility or, or anything, just get on and do the thing in front of me and get it out of the way. So that's to, to kind of take you away from the reality, yeah. the pain and misery you're yeah. going through just to take you to a different place and yeah. tell yourself that you're okay or yeah. things are going to be better. Yeah. Honestly, Stephen, your, your story, to even sitting here with the strength you've got is unbelievable and I, I take my hat off to you, brother. It's inspirational and, and it's, it may be crazy for people to understand, but for you speaking out, 
There's going to help so many other people. Well, this is the thing, especially especially blokes I've found. I, w- I want more blokes to come forward. So if they can see someone that's like me coming forward and saying, look, this shit happened to me, and I was only a kid, I couldn't do anything about it, then they can come forward and say, well, I'm the same as you. Mm-hmm. I was only a kid and I couldn't do anything about it. You speak about one of the wards in Ashton Hall. Is it Elm? Ward? Elm, 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 yeah. Elm. Well, the screams and people. Yeah. What was that ward like? It was exactly the same as Beach, the one I was in, except on the outside of it. Imagine a tennis court size area with a tennis court wire mesh fence all the way around it and a tennis court wire mesh roof over the top of it. And out there, there'd be all day long, 24 hours a day, all you could hear from Elm was met, because it was all grown men by then. They were all outside screaming non-stop. They'd be sat there wanking non-stop. Some of them would be there naked, wandering around, some in straight jackets. Some of them fastened into the really big eye back chairs that they used to have, screaming. You know, it was like a, a vision of bedlam. Mm-hmm. You know, it was it was as scary as anything you could possibly imagine for for young lads to be faced with that. And if you didn't tow the line in beach, then the staff would say, right, well carry on misbehaving, you're going to end up in there with them. Yeah, because one of your stories you were fighting, well, somebody was yeah. trying to bully you, Yeah, but you've been through that much shit anyway. Yeah. Getting hit right, was it, nothing. It just, yeah, yeah. just bounced off me. <laughs> yeah, so you just, you cracked up and, and yeah. gave him for yeah. what, but you were scared to get put in that yeah. Elm, is it yeah. Elm? Elm. Fucking Elm Street Elm. at night, we're on Elm That's Street. It, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you were in there just for over one year. Did anybody yeah. ever come in and... One year, four months. Like, investigate or... Try and look social around. workers had turned up. I think in all the length of time I was there, social workers turned up three times to see me, and they'd stay for about half an hour, then fuck off. Did they ever ask you? Is there anything going on? They, oh, they'd, they'd ask you all sorts about what it was like and if you liked it, and it didn't matter what you told them, because whatever it was you told them, they weren't going to take any notice. They just came, filled out the form, say they'd been and fucked off. Do you think they were involved also? I'm certain. I'm sure they knew what was going on. Mm-hmm. So that didn't just end from a year there, from being in the cellar for 13 years and then Aston Hall getting abused. Then you went to, what was the name of St. the... St. Williams. St. Williams. St. Williams School Market Week in Yorkshire. And that was with the priests. Yeah. And then they were abusing you and then yeah. renting you out as well to paedophile rings. Yeah. And you called that from the frying pan to... Yeah. I started in the fire, went to the, the frying pan and then back into the fire. Right into the pit of hell. Yeah. That is the pit of hell.